community shout out. We got Mr. Boom Boom here with us today. Okay, so, Sunshine, welcome to the neighborhood. Ashley Murphy, welcome to the neighborhood. Uh, Steve W., the right times, W-R-I-G-H-T, welcome to the neighborhood. Uh, Pyro Nation, he wants a shout out. I think, I think, I don't know if he wanted one, but he's getting one. Shout out to you, Pyro Nation. Awesome channel. You guys need to go check them out. Okay, thoughts and prayers. Tanya Ray's stepdad is not doing well at all. So if everybody could please keep him and Tanya Ray's entire family in your thoughts and prayers, we would greatly appreciate that. So thank you, Tanya. We're all thinking about you. Thumbs up, sweetie. Okay, my question yesterday was, uh, weirdest thing about you and are you proud of it? Okay, let's start with Angie Lupus Life. Weirdest thing about her is her personality. And yes, she's proud of it at times. <laughs> hey girl, be proud of it all the time. It's who you are and I love you. I like Tanya Longley. She said, I'm just weird. And yes, I'm proud of it. Yeah, I know you're weird. I grew up with you. And I'm, I love you. So, I but think you, it's cool. But you're weird too, so. Yeah, so, we're weird together. So, so how would you even tell if she was weird? Well, because we're weird the same way weird. So, if she's weird, I'm weird. Then if that, I'm weird, she's weird. That makes you normal then, if you're weird. Okay. Shelter from wind. Weirdest thing uh, about shelter from wind? Likes tuna and mushrooms. Tuna and mushrooms. I like both tuna and mushrooms. Hey, I might give that a try. I might like it. Okay, Melody Mainville said there's nothing weird about her. But, how many people go crawling outside in their <laughs> sleep looking for a cat fight when their cat isn't even an outdoor cat? Now, to me, that's a little weird. But, you think that's weird? Ooh. She said she's not weird at all. And I beg to differ because her and I are friends. And I would say all of my friends are just a little bit weird. My husband? A lot weird. Um, I'm, the, I'm the normal one. <laughs> right, Boomer? Yeah. Um, Katie Caroline says that, uh, she thinks you're a little crazy now, that you're, you're, you're losing it a little bit or something. I said, yeah, everybody thought I was the loud and crazy one. Kevin's true stripes are coming out. Jack Simmons' personality of a very old man is his weird trait, and he's very proud of it. He wears it like a badge of honor. Yes. I got the old man thing down, personally. Yeah. And he said that Kevin's got that, too. And, yes, I believe Kev Kevin is wise beyond his years. Oh, I thought it was Alzheimer's. Oh, yeah, that, too. <laughs> Crimson Fairy. She said the weirdest thing about her is her friends. What are you trying to say? Huh? I'm a, huh? What are you trying to say? Us. Jessica C.T. According to her mother, the weirdest thing about her is everything. Hey, that's pretty cool. I can go with that. Dougie Styles. By the way, I mentioned him the other day, gave him a shout out. He does have a channel, so you guys should go over and check out his channel. Um, the weirdest thing about him is he's been was big enough his entire life, but he had no interest in sports whatsoever growing up. I don't think that's weird at all. I'm not interested. Neither in one of us were ever interested but. in sports. We still are not interested in sports. We don't watch sports. At no. all, ever. Even when the news is on about sports, it's like we don't care, yeah, you know. Sound 
So, I don't think there's anything weird about that at all, Doug. I was a band geek, so. Yeah. High school. So. Yeah. Had to go to the football games. I never paid attention to them. It's okay, boom, boom. Okay, The Abyss, 92882. Okay, I have to agree with you. This is kind of weird. Um, masses amount of pain before f feeling a small amount of pain. That's just the what, what you call it, a uh, high tolerance for pain. Is that what it is? Yep. Okay. Terry Johnson loves taking pictures but never gets them developed. You need a digital camera. That's what you need. <laughs> but even then, people just, ask her for prints and she doesn't print them. Just put it, just plug it into your computer. But she doesn't print them. Sitting, and she's not proud of it. She you're said. sitting in front of it right now. <laughs> Get a camera. Plug it in. <laughs> Pictures. Cold today. Everything w weird all around. Uh, everything about her is weird, is what she's trying to say. That's cool, too. I, you know, I'm all for that. Bambi S., her daughter couldn't think of anything weird. She was asking her daughter what was weird about her, and her daughter couldn't come up with anything weird. <laughs> so, Bambi... <laughs> Yeah. That was a good move. <laughs> no, so, Mom, nothing weird. <laughs> no, Mom, can I borrow the car? <laughs> so Bambi did come up with a few things. She hates ketchup. Hazelnuts, macadamia nuts, and amaretto makes her gag. You know what? I'm on board with you on the ketchup thing. When I was pregnant with Megan, I craved ketchup like crazy. I had ketchup on everything. Now I can't stand it. Megan could drink it. Now it's hot sauce. Yeah. She's graduated the hot sauce. Yeah. Well, she still loves ketchup. She still loves ketchup. I love my singing monsters. His weird style, his weird fashion style. He could go to a wedding and be in sweats and, and a shirt. And, you know... People will ask him, are you going to change? And he's like, no, I'm comfortable. Good for you. Kratos Mama 77 This one, I, I don't understand. She can't stand pizza. Pizza? She can't oh, man. See. She's tried every type of pizza you can imagine, she said. And she cannot stand it. We just had some Greek pizza that was to die for. Yeah. Yeah. That I still, I still want to go back to that little pizza place that Nikki and John took us to up by their house. That pizza was the closest to New York style pizza that I will ever have out in California. That was awesome pizza. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up to that place. <laughs> Stop it. Didn't do anything. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. So, what is the weirdest thing about you? About me? About you. Nothing weird about me. Oh, come on. I am completely normal. I don't believe in that word normal, so you better change it. You better find something. Well, you tell me what, what's really strange about me. What people would find strange about you, not that we think is strange about you. I, the only thing is people think I'm just quiet. You don't think people would find it strange, most people would find it strange that we have two coffins in our house? What's strange that we about have that? two skeletons in our house. That when we were looking to buy our house and our realtor was taking around taking us around looking at houses and when most people go looking for a house, oh the Christmas tree'll look good there and we're saying, Oh, the coffin'll look good there. The backyard's not big enough for the graveyard. Um, you know, you Did don't think you don't think people would think that's a little strange? I guess. <laughs> Seems normal to me. Seems normal to me too, but or seems not weird to me. I mean, Bones is part of the family here, you know? There we go. Okay, so my question for tonight is, what's the matter? Nothing, dear. That's his weirdness. He's jumpy. 
Oh. He gets jumpy all the time. No reason for that. No, I haven't hit you really hard in a long time. I hit you the other day for Tanya, and I hit you lightly. Okay, so my question for today is... What is your question for today? If you had to give up one of your five senses, what would you give up and why? It's time for Neighborhood Community Credit Roll. Let me try to get out from under you so that I don't hurt ya. And Oh, last night's question. Buckets of blood. Bucket of blood. What? Who did that movie? That wasn't the question. The question had to do with the evil dead. And the first movie, 1981, was considered to have a lot of, uh, a very large amount of fake blood from 200 to 300 gallons were used. But the remake has had it beat uh, at 70,000 gallons of fake blood used in the filming of that movie. They said that they had to film it in sequence because there's so much blood, was be uh, they would have had to clean things up and, and re do it if they didn't, and I, I assume I'm told that the final scene, which we haven't seen the movie, I haven't seen the remake, but maybe we'll review that one, that the final scene has blood raining down. So it's raining blood, it hallelujah, it's raining blood. So it took 50,000 gal 50, gallons just to film the final scene. So, That's a lot of blood. Those who got that one correct was Terry Johnson, Tanya Longley, Bambi S, and Nicole today. Did I get that right this time? I don't know. Yay! Yay! Okay. Yay! Today, Yay. Amityville Horror 2005, not the original, but the remake. What house did they use? Uh, for the exteriors. The exteriors were done on set. But the exteriors was an actual house. What house did they use? <laughs> Good question. I know. Good question. There you go! There's your trivia question for tonight. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. We wouldn't be here today if it weren't for all of you. We love you all. <laughs> very much thumbs up make sure you go by and check out all our other stuff and we will see you 